What's up everyone, welcome to Rob's house. We're doing a small modification to the Corvette today, but it's one I've been wanting to do for a while. So, the one of the things that's always kind of bugged me about this car since I got it are the uh, side reflectors. So we have the amber ones in the front and then the red ones in the rear over here. Now the red ones in the rear don't bother me too much, but the amber ones in the front, in my opinion, look terrible. Uh, so we're gonna be replacing those today with some vet lights. There's some smoked out side marker assemblies. Uh, I don't know if you can see in the video, but there are LEDs inside of there. Uh, they'll plug in right where the uh, right into the factory harness. So these are the ones um, for the sides of the car, front and rear. And then over here, actually, uh, my buddy Shay hooked me up. Shout out to Shay. Follow him on Instagram at Zio Sick. I'll link to him in the description. He hooked me up with this rear reflector blackout kit. So. If I come over to the rear of the car, in the fascia, we have these uh, rear reflectors that are in here. Um, if we pop these out, uh, those other one, those other smoked out ones will will replace this. And also, you, you can wire them one of two ways. You can either have them spliced into your uh, to your license plate illumination light, in which case they'll act as running lights. They'll just always be on. Uh, or you can splice it into the, your uh, center brake light so that they'll act as uh, a fourth and fifth brake light uh, when you hit the brakes. So I'm not sure which one I'm gonna go for. I'm kind of leaning toward uh, nighttime running lights uh, via the, uh, the tag illumination, mainly because then I can just take the fascia off and splice the wires in without having to take off the entire bumper. Uh, if I had this kit already when I was doing the Aventador style taillights, I probably would have opted to use them as brake lights, but I'm not sure how hard that's going to be to actually splice into that. I'll have to, uh, I'll have to see, um, I'll probably have to take the fascia off in order to do this. So, uh, we'll see if I, if I get to that in this video or not. At the absolute minimum today, I want to get the side markers done. So they're super, super simple. Uh, if nothing else, this will be a short video where I show you how to install some different side markers on your C7 Corvette. Um, basically all we're going to do is just pop this assembly out, just unplug the bulb that's already in there and plug in one of the new ones, slap it into place and we're done. The only thing that makes this a little bit of a pain is you do have to take some stuff off to actually get at the, uh, to, to, to pull the side marker out because they do clip into place. Uh, if you look on the back here, they have these, see they have some clips on the back. So they do clip into place, which means that, you know, it would be a little bit difficult to do it from the, uh, from the exterior of the car without either breaking clips and or scratching the, the outside of the fender. So I'm not gonna do that. Um, basically all we have to do is pull these, these inner liners off. So I gotta, so the, the rears are pretty easy. Um, these guys just have some, uh, screws on the bottom. There's like three seven millimeter bolts on the bottom. Um, the front ones are going to be a little more annoying because I have these winglets here that I'll probably have to take off. So I'm going to put the car on jack stands. And the only reason for that, you don't, this isn't required for this particular install, but it just makes it easier because I can just kind of move the front wheels with my hands. Um, obviously the other way you can do it is, uh, you can just cock the wheel all the way one way. Uh, and get at the liner that way. Uh, I'm gonna put the car on jack stands just cause it'll make it easier to get to the bolts on the bottom and stuff just by lifting the car a little bit. The car's kind of low, so, um, but totally not required. This is just an extra step that I'm taking. I just wanted to make an ex a disclaimer in the video so you don't think that you need to be on jacks for whatever reason. It's not required for this install. So let me get it on jack stands and we'll get started. All right guys, I just wanted to show you kind of how to remove these. Um, so these things are held by three clips. You see on the on the top of this clip, and on the bottom, they're oriented the same direction. However, the middle one's not. So that's how it grabs so well into these tabs. Now, in order to get to that, I had to take my winglet off on this side, kind of peel my uh, fender extension back. And then the, uh, the rubber sort of uh, fender liner in here, if you if you kind of pull the fender away from it, you can get your hand in here and kind of pry it out. Now, I'm gonna have to tuck this back in. This is actually supposed to go underneath the fender. So see, I've kind of pulled this lip out. I'm gonna have to tuck that back in when I, when I go to put it back. But I just wanted to show you guys kind of what this looks like. You can get it, you, 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 can, you can pry it out with removing anything else, and then you can kind of get your hand up in there to put pressure on the sides of the tab, like on this side, it's it's on my left, and then the middle one is on my right. 
the other side of the car will be a mirror image of this. And now, all I have to do is just unplug this. So this has some kind of a, a bulb in it. The new one will have a full LED strip. So let me just unplug this real quick. First you, uh, I needed to put the camera down to do it, but here, this tab, just kind of unplug that to, re to release it. And then if I squeeze and pull, it'll pull right out. Here's my old marker. Now, the kit that you get from Vet Lights, it comes with, uh, you know, front and rear. The way you tell the difference, the fronts are marked yellow because the original ones were the yellow markers. And the rears are marked red because those are the red markers. So make sure that you grab the right one, obviously, otherwise it won't fit. And you're just going to plug this guy back in. All right, so you just line up and push it down and then make sure you push this gray tab back in so that the connector cannot vibrate its way back out. All right, I'm going to grab my key real quick. I'm just gonna hit the unlock button real quick to make sure this works. It does, see it lights up yellow. Aside from the markers not fitting, if you uh, swap them, you want the fronts to light up yellow because they're supposed to be consistent with uh, the factory illumination. And then to install them, all we're gonna do now is just, uh, we're just gonna line up the tabs. I'm trying to do this one-handed and we're just gonna press in until it clicks into place, just like that. And then peel our tape off. I just left this on so that when I was finagling it uh, or laying it on the table over there that I didn't scratch it or anything. And that's it, see? Looks way better now. All four of them are, are the same. I, I wanted to show you guys the front one because it's a little more complicated because you gotta take some more stuff off. The back one's pretty simple. Um, in order to do those, it's the exact same procedure, but in order to do these, we're just going to uh, remove this uh, mud flap. So let me do the remaining three markers and I'll report back. All right guys, so I have to correct myself on the um, uh, mud flap in the back. Um, as you can see, there's a bunch of clips there's actually only one tab, and if you look under here, it's not the three that I thought it was here. It's the one that's actually uh, on the painted part of the fender. So that's the only one you have to remove, and then this thing will pop right out. And then all you gotta do here is, uh, uh, looks like we got a couple of Torx bolts here so we can uh, peel the, the fender liner back. So I'm just gonna remove those screws, peel the fender liner back, and then the uh, reflector assembly will just pop right out. All right, guys, we're all done. Front and rear. Uh, I think the, the biggest change, honestly, is the front. Uh, the rears on, on my particular car, my car's red, so the rears didn't look too bad, but the fronts with the, the bright yellow housing look pretty bad. This just gives it a nice, little bit more of an aggressive look. I gotta put this fender liner back on. Anyway, uh, that's what it looks like. So we got our full yellow strip. Also, the lights look a lot neater because they're LED instead of projecting through the housing. So you get a nice even lighting on uh, on the strips front and rear. I just took this off to see what I could see inside uh, for the smoked ones with the LEDs. And I haven't decided yet how I wanna wire it. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna save that for another day, I think. I just wanted to do a quick video today. So I had a little bit of time. So we got the left rear and the left front. Everything's working. That wraps it up for today. As usual, I hope this video was helpful, and I'll see you guys next time.